Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez with creatingwithali.com and today I want to share with you an easy way to create your own design series paper or pattern paper using your stamps so that you can create three cheerful, three cheerful birthday cards. That's what I'm intending to do today. So anyway, I am going to be using the Pretty Perennials and if you don't know which one it is, it's this one and I know it's, um, it's flipped out um, the other direction so but once I flip the camera you will be able to see it so this is the one that I'm gonna be using it which is part of the new uh, catalog and that one you'll find it in page 30 31 yeah 31 let me just share it with you real quick so it is this one and this is the one that you can be uh, using to make gorgeous flowers and so definitely wanted to make sure I share that with you um so let me see uh oh thank you so much susan for sharing i really appreciate it thank you so much <laughs> muy bien gracias susan oh i didn't know you speak spanish how about that <laughs> so really nice so anyway so as you are joining let me know where you are watching i always love hearing uh or reading where you're watching me from and then a few things just before i start is that we still are on the celebration um promotion and if this is new for you so celebration is where for every fifty dollars you earn free products from a stamping up and there's no limit so with fifty dollars you get one thing for free a hundred dollars you get two free uh, things and so there's no limits on that there are two levels one uh, some products are fifty dollars and some other products are free with a hundred dollars and um and so I'll flip the camera so that you can see that. But the other thing I want to make sure you know is that during this time frame, we also have a promotion when you buy that starter kit. And all it is is that uh, you purchase $125 worth of products, but you only pay $99 and, um, and taxes. There's no shipping, so it's like 10% even, um, even, even uh, um, cheaper. And also during this time frame, if you do it between now and February, you get a pack of the, um, what is this called? The, um, well, it is the color designer series paper, but you get five, actually, yeah, five packs. So you get one for each of the different families, as well as the in colors that we have, uh, right now. So, uh, which, which are the ones for, um, for this year. So the ones that are, what it is like the 20, the 2020 to 2022, you get those uh, colors. So anyway, it's super great promotion because again, you get a full pack for each of the different colors. So definitely, definitely a great time to join my team. And so anyway, so let me start flipping the camera and I'll go from there. And again, um, I'm super excited with today. I'll be honest. Let me see. It sounds like, oh, there we go. And let me put the a little bit of lighting here too. Let me just adjust that for a second. Uh, I think that I should be fine so that you can see better. Uh, okay, so like I was saying, so we have the celebration. This is the stamp set that I'm gonna be using and let me just share it with you how it looks. Is this better? I think it is better, right? Um, so as you can see, this one has really gorgeous flowers. I love when I see a stem set like this because I feel like I can do uh, backgrounds and in fact you can see it on the sample from from the catalog how they kind of did the same thing as I was thinking and so we're, I'm going to be showing you how to do that and then a way to cut it out to create three cards using that pattern paper okay this one also comes with a nice um, uh, set of dies which uh, again, when you purchase them together, you save ten percent. But um, it cut out pretty much every single uh, flower that they have, and then they give us like a few of the leaves um, that could be a standalone. So definitely, definitely a great, great, great uh, bundle to have. Um, hi, hi, Don. Say hello to Lenny. All right, so let me just get it started. Oh, and I said I was going to share with you the celebration real quick. So as I was saying, the celebration is this one. 
Uh, if you don't have a catalog of these, let me know. I'll send you the, uh, one of the mini catalogs as well as one of the celebrations. Just let me know. You can send me an email at ali at creatingwithali.com and I gladly will be mailing you one of these. But anyway, what it is is that for every $50 that you spend, you get one item from here for free. And as you can see here, it will tell you if it is free with a $50 item or purchase or if it is for 100 There's only two things that are $100, but you can see here, where you have the sign series paper um, or a nice uh, stamp set with the donkeys. There's other stamp sets here, as you can see, um, this one as well. You have more design series paper here. There is another design series paper, but you can see there's another stamp set here and there. And here is another uh, of the design series paper. So lots of options. And again, there's no limits. And the last two items are the ones that are um, $100. So you can get this one when you for free when you purchase $100. Or you can get the design series paper and this is stamp set, uh, again, for $100. Those are the two only items that are $100. The rest of uh, this catalog is uh, free with $50. And again, there's no limit. So definitely... A great time to be stocking up on all your stamping up supplies so but let's get it started so the first thing we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be making my own design series paper and I have already mounted pretty much all my stamps as you can see here and um, let me just bring them all so these are all the ones that I'm gonna be using and I have here my um, my um, basic I'm gonna have here this one. And the one thing is I like to put always a piece of paper because you can see that as you get out, you don't stain your pierce mat. Because it's photopolymer, I love using my pierce mat because I get a very good image as I am stamping. The colors I'm gonna be using are um, Puppy Parade, um, Daffodil Delight, as well as Coastal Cabana and uh, the granny apple green so let's just get a start the first thing i always like to do when i am doing um <clears throat> this technique if you will when i am doing my own pattern paper i love to start with the largest images the um um to stamp so i'm gonna go ahead and do this now anytime i'm using a red i always put at least the first layer with the um with a light color like the petal pink um, just so that it doesn't stain too much although in this case I'm going to be stamping over and over and over that it still gets a stain but not as much and um, all right so let me just get and so like I was mentioning the first thing I do is I try to go over the areas um, sorry about the whole the whole paper but with the larger image so let me just go ahead and it's kind of random, okay? In a way, I say it random, but sometimes I feel like I do have a pattern. All right. And um, yeah, let's just see here. I just need to make sure I am keeping things where I have the pierce mat, because sometimes I stamp and I might not have the pierce mat. Mm. But I am doing the whole thing. And this piece of paper is actually half a half a sheet of the uh, regular basic white, which is eight and a half by five and a half. So I'm just using uh, half of it, right? Um, but you could do a full sheet if you want. All right. And then I'm going to be putting this one like right there. And I could even add more, but I'm going to leave it right now. If I need to fill things uh, more, I can go back and, and, and put more of these. The next thing is I'm going to go with the next largest one, which is going to be this one. And I'm going to be using for this the Coastal Cabana. Hi, Pam. And... Let me just make sure I am center at all points. Yeah. All right. So I'm kind of filling up those white areas. 
And again, I always say this is random, but as you can see, it seems like I do have a, a little of a pattern. <laughs> but um, it's supposed to be random, right? <laughs> Hi, Lynn. All right, so once I have that, I might even put another one there. I feel like I need something else. But then before I do that, I probably want to be adding the leaves and this ones. So let me just go back. Because I don't know if I can put a full... I could probably add one more, you know? Because it's too, it's too much of the white and the next flowers are not too large. So I might just add like one more here, even though that's too close, but it will be okay because I'm going to be cutting it. So that will be okay. And then I'm going to bring this um, granny apple green. And then I'm going to bring this, um, this little one first. Yes, I'm going to be adding that one here. I might need to be adding that one right there. All right, and I'm just trying to, this is where I'm gonna be adding this other one with the daffodil. So I'm just trying to picture where I can fit it. All right. And I don't know if I can fill another one right there. I don't know. I'm going to leave it right now there. I don't know if I can fit another one here. I feel like I should put another one, but I'm going to wait right now until I see the other one. And then I'll fill out even more. All right, so now that I have that one, I'm gonna be putting this ones right there. Here we go. Here we go. Trying to see where to go. There we go. And maybe it might be easier to put the yellow and then the greens, but um, I mean, it's the same thing, I'm sure. <laughs> but you can see how I'm just filling up all the areas and this. There we go. And yeah, I need more here for sure. <clears throat> I'm gonna be adding first this one. I feel like I can add it here and then have that. Or no, I, I always feel better if I do this section because I don't, I feel like the yellow I can hide better than the greens, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah. Oh, actually, I can add it here. No, I do like it here. There we go. Yep. And then maybe another piece right here. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna leave it like that right now. I don't know that I can add more of these. And again, I always start from the largest to the smallest one. So the next thing is adding the leaves. And this is gonna be a way for me to fill out a little bit of the, um, the gaps.
Um, you know what? I'm going to be adding it like so here. And maybe like these. Yep. And same thing here. I'm going to be adding more here. Just trying to see how to add it here. Yep. Yep. I might need another one right here. And one more here. And again, the, here is just filling up all the areas as much as you can. And I feel like that's enough. I might want another one right here. There we go. All right, so that's how it looks. I'm gonna bring now this um, cluster of kind of dots and I'm gonna bring the um, memento. And I'm going to be adding this one in the center of the flower, of the larger flower. I feel like that one gives a lot of, uh, I don't know, contrast to the paper because everything is too bright, right? And once you add that, it kind of looks way better. And it, it's going to be very cheerful, as you can see here. Thank you. I'm glad you're liking it. All right. And then the same thing with the little one. I have a little one here. I'm going to be adding it to... And I think I cover them all. Is that right? I think I did. And um, lastly, I'm going to bring back that little one. And just in the areas where I feel I need more. Just need to make sure I clean this one really well. Yeah. I'm going to go back with the Daffodil Delight. Let me bring, where is Daffodil Delight? Here. I'm glad you're liking it, Susan. Okay, so once you have it right there, I'm gonna just bring this one and then just add a few more where I see um, white areas. And I could, oh, see, I kind of stained that one, that's okay. I'll make sure I cut that section out. I must have had, um, press it with Maybe it was still wet and I press it. Um, so you gotta be careful. Um, but as you can see, super easy at this point. Um, more here. Again, at this point, I'm just filling up any white area that I still see, right? I feel like that would be okay. Yeah, I'm going to leave it that, like so at this point. So, like I said, we're going to be having... Um, let me see if I wrote it down somewhere. I know I was playing with this before. Oh, gosh. And I probably lose that paper already. Let me just make sure I clean this section because otherwise I'm going to be getting this stain somewhere as I pull the other things. Um, so 
that now that I have it this way, I'm just going to be cutting out the um, this paper so that we can make three cards. So you can make it in any color combination. And in fact, if you want to use a particular design series paper as well, you can even try to um, to use it in the colors that are for that paper, right? For that, for those tones. Um, so let me bring here my cutter. Where's my cutter? I'm going to go ahead and use, hold on. Uh, here it is. I'm not kidding you. So what I did on this one is I'm going to be cutting it at two, at three, and then three and a half. That's what I'm doing. Like I said, I had a little note here as to how I was going to cut it. So once that I have it here, I'm going to go ahead and cut the two. So I need a piece that is two. And then the one that is... Mm, give me one second, because I know one I'm going to be cutting out. So let me just make sure which one is this one. Uh, where's my, my ruler? Here, give me just one second here. Oh, perfect. Okay, three and a half. Okay, so the next one is three. So I'm going to cut it at three. And then I should have here a piece that is three and a half. And I'm going to be cutting this section out. Um, I'm going to cut it at, I think it was at three and three quarters. Let me just check here. Four and three quarters, yeah. So I'm going to be cutting at four and three quarters. Mm, I still want to be getting some of that stain. That's, well, not really. I think, I think that will be okay. Yep, there you go. See? Done. <laughs> All right. So this is how it looks. So I cut it out and two, three, and then this should be three and a half. Yes, three and a half. And I have a piece that is um, four and three quarters. That's how I did it. And with that, I'm gonna be making three cars. All right, so let's just now get going. So pretty much we already done our designer series paper. So let me just start going with card number one, okay? So I have already uh, pre-cut, as always, all the pieces here so that we can get going. And so I'm going to be using this one for these. And I've also stamped and die cut it. Oh, see, I have, I have all these stains in my hands from the, um, what is this other color? Let me just clean that because I, I don't want to be staining my my cards i'm like where did that color came from it was from my hands all right so all right so hopefully it's better now okay so like i said i also stamp in die cut uh some of the flowers um again i use the the die set as you can see here and this one in particular also has a little uh inside right like this right and this one is bermuda bay so i already die cut it just for the sake of the um, video so you have it here but i'll go um over all the measurements so like you know my car base is eight and a half by five and a half and this is poppy parade i'm going to be using the piece that is three inches and i have two strips that are half of an inch and the length is just has to be longer than this paper because I'm going to be cutting it. So it has to be at least five and a half, right? Um, and I have two of those and this is basic black. I also I cut the um, square from the layer, not from the layering, from the uh, stitch shift framelit. And this is the second largest uh, from the large to the smallest one. This is the second one. And I have also a little strip on Daffodil Delight and this one is... A half of an inch by three, I believe. Oh, actually it's less. Two and a half. I also have die cut the sentiments or the words, I should say, which says happy. Now, this, this one has a beautiful happy and I love it. And you could also stamp it and cut it out. But I really wanted to have something that stand out more the word by itself. 
And I definitely love to use this one. I would have hoped they had also that happy on that one for the day, for the die, but it wasn't there. So I'm using this one that came from, what is the name of this one? It's the uh, something cute sayings or what is the name? I'll look for it in a second. I know it's somewhere here in my room because I use it today. Oh, I'll look for it. But anyway, I that cut those already and I put a, the adhesive sheet in the back. And I'll show you one quick thing that you can do with them. Like I said, I stamped the flowers as well. And I have a little bit of the die coats as well. So I have two of those small leaves in the granny apple green. And I also have one little flower um, just to coordinate with that. And I have a piece of the design series paper. And this one comes from the True Love uh, designer series paper, which is the one also from that um, new catalog and this is the one that is all all white and black so I'm using that one but you could also use any of your other design series paper especially if you're using like the neutrals um, oh no there's no thing on that one no nope, I take that back there's no black on that one it's early espresso so anyway but this piece is one inch by four yes um, that will go somewhere in my car so that's how it's gonna look so let's get it started here with that one and again, let me just get situated here because I feel like I'm losing everything here. Anyway, and it's funny because I put those words here for you to see and now I cannot find it. But anyway, um, as you can see here, um, when you cut out this one, just make a long strip, put a little bit of that um, adhesive paper on the back and then just run it through with your die set so that you can have several of them. So let's just go ahead and do it. Um, so for this one, I want to go ahead and add this one to the, to the ends of this paper. Let me fold this one in half so we know exactly where we're going to be adhering our, um, yeah. All right. Oh, so I'm going to be, go ahead and well said. Thank you, John. Thank you. That's yeah. Thank you. And what is so weird is that I caught it, I caught the words in the morning and I left the set outside so that I can show it to you. And now I, I just can't find it. Every single time it happens, uh, every single time I go live, I lose everything. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but anyway, so let's just go ahead and put some adhesive on the ends. But yeah, that's the one. Thank you so much. It's the well set. So thank you so much. All right, and I'm just going to go ahead and line it up. And as you can see, I'm just eyeballing it just to have a nice, um, nice area, um, a nice strip or border, I should say. And I'm going to be cutting out that section. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. There we go. I'm gonna take that one. All right, and then I always like to line up things just to see where I want it. I feel like I want it more towards one end. So I'm gonna put it that way Actually, what if I do this, have this one more towards this end and have, so I know I want those here. Yeah, all right, so now let me just put the sentiment. I want this to be birthday cards. So since I have the happy, let's just put the birthday here. All right, here we go. Let's just use that one. I'm going to take this one for a second right there. And use again that for the little strip. And I'm going to be using Early Espresso just because it inks like really dark. Um, if I want to use the Stamparados, um, sorry, the Memento, I would use the Stamparados just because I can go over and over to have a really dark um, black. But I'm just gonna go with the Early Express. So this one also looks really dark, right? It looks like black. 
So I'm just going to go with that. Um, but if you want it to be a true black or a black, then um, you could use the Memento. I just find it that sometimes uh, I need to ink several times, so the stamp rows will be the way to do it. And then you can see here what I am doing. I am cutting it out, right? And so now I'm going to be adding this one. I'm going to be, let me see. I'm going to be pulling out these and I'm going to be gluing it on top so that I can have a thick happy. And you can see how it looks. And then I'm going to do this again. And get another of those. And I just line them up. And because I have that adhesive, it, it goes really easy. Hi, Dorothy. And you can see how, how nice and thick it goes, right? But I'm gonna be putting happy and maybe have the birthday maybe here. Happy birthday. And then have the flower maybe here. Yep, I think I like it that way. Or maybe, yeah, I do like that way. I might just move this one more towards this end then. And maybe do this one here. So I can put the flower here and the leaves there. Yeah, I will, I will do that. That's what I like, uh, lining up everything first before I glue anything. Because that way I can see exactly how I want it to look or the direction if I need to change something on the cart so that always helps so i just use one glue dot and i'm just gonna put this one now this one i stamped in coastal cabana but um the die cut is actually with the uh what is this called bermuda bay and then for this one like i said we're gonna go ahead and add this one more towards this side so let's add adhesive Mm -hmm. And we're going to go ahead and oh. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add this one somewhere here. Then I can cut out any excess. You can see that well, and you can see it's a little bit off. I might just cut with the cutter a little bit here and then cut here, this section. There we go. Huh. It's like I didn't cut this one well. There we go. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay, now for this one, I feel like I want to do the banner ends. Let's see. Do I want it? I do want it this way. No, I want to do the banner end. I, f I like it this way, so I'm going to leave it this way. Like a little block. Yeah. I'm going to put this one like right here. And then I'm going to move this one and I'm going to be racing that one with dimensionals. So I'm going to go ahead and add the dimensionals on these. And again, because I stamped the paper, you can be doing this one in any color combination that you want. Um, if you're doing like a birthday invitations, right? You can go with the colors of the theme or the favorite colors of the person you're sending this card. So definitely lots of options that way. I'm gonna be adding this one towards this section. Then I'm gonna bring this one 
And I'm just, just going to take off the last one. And like I said, I put three of those together. So I'm going to be adding this one like right here. And I'm going to be adding this one here. And I'm just going to put it flat. I'm not going to be raising that one just so that that happy stands out a lot more this way. And then I'm going to be adding this one like right here and the two leaves here. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Now for the leaves, I think I'm going to be using um, a glue dot. The same thing here. Alrighty, and then I'm going to be adding this one like right here. Yep, and I'm going to be adding two little dimensionals on these two. And then I could either put um, blue dots or the stamping seal. Let's just go ahead and put those here. All right, and then um, how do I want them? Let's see how I wanted this. There we go. Yep. All right. And now for the center, I don't know if I want to add one of those black dots or one of these um, um, glitter, the gold glitter um, dots. So this one looks really nice. I actually like it a lot. So I might go with that one because it brings that uh, yellow back. And I think it might extend more than the black since I have little pieces of black. But let's just see how... Yeah, either one of them will look good. But I'm going to be going with this one. I think I like that one better. And so I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, definitely love how it looks. So anyway, so here you have card number one, as you can see. Right? And again, you can customize the paper to any color that you want. So anyway, so let's go now with card number two, which let me just bring it here. Uh, um, okay, so card number two, it's gonna be using this section. And so as you can see, I have that cut uh, one of the one of the leaves from the same die set, uh, the Pretty Perennials uh, die set, or the one that comes with the bundle. So it's this one, and I also die cut this section in black, and I have also a stamp one of the flowers in uh, what is this called a poppy parade, and I cut it already, and this is the part that we cut. I've also have already put together the three happies from the well set die set uh similar to the other one and i have the largest of the circles from the stitch shapes framelits a piece of um or a strip of the daffodil of the light and this is half of an inch by two and a half and also a long strip of the basic black which is half of an inch which we're going to be doing the same thing as with the other one we're just going to be gluing it together and this one is going to go like so so let me just do that. Um, and my car base is also um, Puppy Parade, eight and a half by five and a half. And let's just go ahead and... All right, so we have that. I'm gonna be adding um, this one first.
and let's just add this one right there. So let's just cut it. Come and cut this section as well. And so I want to add this one like right here at the bottom. I want to have that one right here. Put the leaves. Have um, somewhere the happy. Let me just see how I want it. I want that one right there. This one right here. And then the happy birthday. So I'm going to be putting this one like right there and then have this one maybe like so, you know, something like that. Happy birthday. So I'm going to be adding that one. Yeah, something like that. Or maybe put this one because I don't want to be covering this black line, but I could. Hmm, it has to be up. Because I don't want to be hiding that black line. Uh, yeah, I could go with this. I think this will go fine. We'll see. All right, so let's just stand for the happy. And then on this one, I don't know if I want to add um, maybe um, the little flower. I have this little flower. Maybe I add a couple of those in the coastal cabana as well. Just that it has something else. It's not so white. Um, all right, so let's get started with that. Let's bring again the mat. And it seems like I need the bird that more towards this end. Uh, where is that stamp set again? Oh, here. I'm like, where is that? Let's have this one. I'm using, again, Early Express, but again, you can use the Memento. All right, so I'm going to be stamping that one. There we go. And I'm going to bring this one as well. So I feel like I might need like a two flowers there. We'll see how it looks. We'll see if I like it. I just need a scrap of paper here. And then bring the um, this one, Coastal Cabana. So I want that one somewhere here. Let me just put one here. If I have this one, I'm just trying to picture this. Where would I need the other one? Yeah, because then I have the happy somewhere there. Yeah, I feel like just two will be okay. I will be adding the little dots again in the black on top of this. There we go. Let's go get it again. Oh, I have this one still here to go. All right, and so I'm gonna be adding this one here. Let's add this one also to our flower already, just so that we start seeing how it looks. So I'm gonna be adding this one right there. This one is gonna go right here. And then on this one, I do want to do the, oh, the little banner in. Let's see, hold on, before I do that, before I do that, I do want that one here. Oh yeah, see that? Kind of looks nice. So, um, or actually, I just need a little piece. Maybe I don't even want that. Yeah, you know, kind of like the other one. I'm just gonna go, if I don't like it, then I can cut another piece, right? Uh, 
I feel like I like this one better. Yes. Definitely. Yes, I'm gonna go with that. Okay, so I like it that, that way. <clears throat> All right, so let's start gluing everything now that I know how I want it. And so you can see how it's really easy to be making your own cars with the stamps. I really like doing the uh, my own design series paper, you know? I definitely um, like that I can customize to whatever I want. So definitely that's a plus for me. I'm going to be erasing this one so it has some dimension. Although I'm going to be erasing this one. Okay, I won't be erasing this one then. Because um, I want that flower to be raised <clears throat> or popped up. So I want that one to be this way. I'm going to be adding then this one like so. But I feel like this section kind of sticks out. So I'm going to be adding like one uh, glue dot in some of these areas. And then have this one go this way. See that? Um, so I'm going to be adding a glue dot in some areas where I kind of hide it. You can hide it there. Same thing here. I'm going to be hiding it somewhere here. And another one Right there. Alrighty. And I'm going to go ahead and add him like this. Oh, I should have put one there. Oh, it doesn't matter because I'm going to be adding this one right here. There we go. So it will be all glued down. So it's good. And. I can be adding, oh my gosh, I don't know what is the deal with this one, but um, it feels like this got super, um, like they got caught really well. Oh, actually I'm going to go with the, like the little ones for these other sections. Um, there we go. Alrighty, let's pull everything out. Alrighty. Okay, and then this one will go flat and then this one is, yep, there we go, see that? And then this one will go right here. Yep, like it there. All right, so I won't be racing this one. And then we're gonna peel out. And if you didn't see, if you just joined me, what I did is I cut out three of these and then lined them up together so I have a thicker piece. And I'm just gluing the last one out. See that? And now for this one, I'm gonna be using one of those again for the center. Oh yes, definitely. I feel like I like the largest one as well. So I'm gonna go with the largest one. There we go. And on this one, um, I could add some of those black dots though. Don't you think, maybe? Do I like them? This is the, or the gold ones, let me see. Hmm, gold ones pop up more with that black letter. So definitely. So I'm just gonna be adding like three little ones 
I really need to move this. Well, that's okay. That's okay. I just need three little ones. There we go. So here you have it. So this is card number two. So look at how beautiful they look. Very cheerful. Definitely love them. And so let's go with the final card of the night using the design series paper that we created. Where is the, other? the last piece is this one. So let's just bring the next one. Um, let me bring this. So for these, I was thinking of this. And again, I have here one of these pieces. And I'm gonna show you something. When I first started working on this card, I also that cut one of these with the foam sheets, as you can see here. So you could be using that one. This one was a little bit tricky, I'll be honest, but not too bad. I actually like this one better. I feel like I don't have any of the white borders. And that's one of the reason why I love um, that one better over this. Because in this case, I would have those white borders around it. Which it's fine, but I feel like um, being so thin, uh, the letter, I think that um, it goes better this way. So I'm going to be using this one. And again, in this case, I just cut out several of them and then just put them together. Um, okay, now this one, for this card, I have, again, my card base being um, Poppy Parade. And so this one is eight and a half by five and a half. We're gonna fold it in half. I have, oh, hold on, let me just make sure I fold this one in half. I always use the bone folder. I have a piece of basic black and this one is uh, three and a half. Is that right? Yeah, three and a half by, um, oh, actually it's not, hold on. This one is three by, five eighths and this one is uh four and seven eighths this one was um when we cut it out uh, it was three and a half by um four and three quarters and so at the very beginning i thought i wanted to do something like this where it was just a little border right and it looks okay i like that but then i thought what if i do something like where I kind of move them a little bit, so I show a little bit more of that, but it kind of has an angle, as you can see here. So this is how I'm gonna be going with this one. Now, one of the things is that I then decided to use a label for here. And I first thought it was gonna be a circle, but then I, uh, because of the word being long, I decided to go uh, with one of these labels. And this label comes from the Hippo, I don't remember the name of the set, but oh yeah, Hippo and Friends Eyes. And so, I uh, I love always having die sets that have the labels because as you can see in almost all my cars, I tend to use the labels. I, I feel like that's one of the things where um, you can come up with so many car ideas and change your layouts just by changing the label. So definitely uh, love, 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 love um, the dice that has labels because those for sure helps me way more. Um, all right, so with that being said, this is how I wanted to go. I have again a little piece of that design source paper from the True Love. And this one is four and one eighth. It's just literally, it's just a scrap because I could go with four and a half or maybe four, but this one is four and one eighth by one. And so this one will go somewhere here, as you can see. Then I'm going to be adding um, maybe more towards the center. I'll be adding this one, and this is where I need to play it where, where do I want it? Do I want it here, and then have that one here, to then put this one so it shows a little bit more, or do I want it on the bottom? I think I like it more on the background, you know? I feel like I like it better there. And then have this one right there, and this one right here. I definitely want to put the happy here and the birthday in this case I think I'm gonna be putting it right here on the top so I might need to move this one a little bit down so it shows and then have the oh I don't know what I did with the leaves I'm oh yeah I throw them away here let me just pick them up and then have the 
little flower there with the um, leaves. And in this case, again, I stamped this with the Coastal Cabana and I cut this with the Bermuda Bay using that bundle, the Pretty Pretty Nails bundle. All right, so I think I like that way, right? Have this one like right here and the leaves right there. Yep, yeah, I think like that will be nice. So let's just go with the happy, what if I add it like so? What if I do something? Like, let me just see. No, I like it better this way. No. Well, it, do, it does look nice. And then the birthday towards the end. No. No, because I will cover that letter. So let me just stamp the birthday first and then go from there. But, um, like I said, I always like to... Kind of stamp um, or have all the pieces ready and then play with the layout because you can move things around if you don't like it. So let's just go with that. Again, I'm using the Early Espresso, but you could use the Memento as well to have a black. Um, the Early Espresso to me just looks like black. <laughs> so that's the reason I'm using that one. Um, if I were using my Stamparados, then I can go over and over so I can have a really black, a dark black on my sentiment. But just for the sake of time, I'm just using the Early Espresso because it's always really juicy. And so it gives me that same look. Okay, so now I'm only just going to go with the same way I've been cutting it. Where I'm only... And again, this is just a strip. Um, there we go. All right. So let's just see. I could put this one like right there. Oh, what if I do this? And then have the flower here. Oh, I actually like it better. I actually like it better. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with this. Yeah, I'm going to put everything, I think everything is going to be flat because this one will go like right there. So, yep, it looks good. So I'm going to be racing then this one because everything else is going to be flat. So, all right, so let's just go ahead and do that. And And so, like I said, I'm going to be moving it a little bit to one like in one angle. And then this one will go in a in the opposite angle as you can see here. So let's just go ahead and do that. All right, and then this one is gonna go right in the center. So I'm gonna be adding this one like right there. Oh, thank you, Elaine. <laughs> I'm so glad you're liking them. All right, and then I'm gonna be adding this one. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be bracing that one, but then this one leaving flat. And so let's just use that one. And then I'm gonna be popping up that one with the dimensionals here. I'm like, where are the dimensionals? Oh 
All right, so then this one will go here. How do we say we're gonna go? So we need to be at this one's first. And I'm gonna be adding this one flat. I might just need a little mini dimensional on the back of that one. Yes, I need like two mini dimensionals. And before I press anything, let me just add this one with the glue dots. And again, you want to make sure like you're kind of hiding them. Hmm. Let me move this one more towards this section. Yep. All right, and then I can press everything and then have this one like right here. Yeah, this one is going to go flat as well. We're going to take this one out Oop. and take this. Out. Oh, before I put that one, let's just put this one. Totally forgot about these. All right. There we go and then we're going to be adding one of these um which one is the one that i like the large one yep yeah. or the medium the medium i think yep the medium on this one and yeah i think i'm going to leave it that way you can add more if you want but i think like that one looks really nice there we go Feel like I have a little bit of that adhesive showing here. Or just a little eraser. Somewhere here I have my eraser as well. So that if you have something like that happening, you can clean it up. Well, somewhere there is. <laughs> there is. But anyway, you can see it here. So this is card number three. You can see all of them really easy. And again, um, you can customize them. Here they are. So card number one, two, and three. Let me know which one is your favorite. I definitely love, love, love um, making um, the design series paper myself. I feel like that one always um, helps me customize it to whatever. Um, yep, yeah, I'm going to move this one out of the way. But anyway, to whatever colors I need. So anyway, so thank you so much. Hi, Susan. Thank you. Glad you like them. Um, I think I like this one a lot and that one. Well, I like them all, but I, I don't know. I always love this type of uh, layouts. And like I said, you can be combining um, different colors. You can play with the different color combinations for sure. You can follow also colors from a uh, different design source paper. Like if you want to use this with another design source paper, that will go really well as well. So anyway, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, one other thing is that I'm... Um, 
I have, um, I am working again in opening the Cart Making 101 program. And if you're curious about that, um, it is the program where I show you how to create cars from, um, it's, it's how to design your own cars or how to come up with endless ideas like, like I usually do for all my Facebook lives or my cards, my card classes. And so if you're interested in that, I have put the link for the whitelist. It's not open yet. But as soon as it opens, you'll get notifications right away. You can be the first one to know. So I have put the link uh, the dis uh, on the description of this video. So somewhere here, you should be able to see, uh, join the waitlist for the Car Making 101. Um, that way you get information as soon as I open it. So anyway, so thank you so much. Oh, glad you're liking it, Susan. You do, you like the third one <laughs> a lot. Yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll, I don't know. I feel like that one and this one's could be my favorites. Um, so anyway, so thank you so much. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you um, next Thursday. All right. So thank you. <laughs> Bye for now.